guys how are you all thank you guys for being here so I know today has been you know a pretty busy day with the verdict in Adam's case the cause of death and Audrey's and some other things coming out and Jen and I had pondered and talked about doing a um, an open panel we are still gonna do that and most likely tomorrow night probably on Jen's channel um, but we are not for certain exactly when, but we decided to go ahead and finish these April calls. I thought that we could all use a little bit of levity. Um, I think Jen probably feels the same way, but I won't speak for her. We will let her speak for herself. But let me say hello to you guys, and I'll bring her right up, and we will jump in. And I can't wait for you guys to see the rest of this video. Number one, the calls are absolutely ridiculous, but... Um, I just love the pictures that I chose, and I do have to say, um, there's going to be some really good ones coming soon, so I can't wait for you guys to see that, um, but anyways, so let me say hello to you, hello Manslaughter, hey Gemini Crime Online, hey Salmonella, Mr. Tomato Head, all, oh, thank you for coming by, and good to see you, hey Ange, hey Wolfie, Destin, K-Brace, Peppermint, hey Harlot, SW True Crime, Laura Bean, good to see you. Let me scroll up a little bit. Hello, honey. Um, I think I said hi to you, Nana, but just in case, I definitely don't want to miss you. Hey, Tracy. Lil Red, Neat Noodle, Teacup, Michelle, Adrian, so good to see you. Hey, Rainbow Mom, David, I'm so glad that you're here. Mrs. Bendover, thank you guys for being here. Hey, Kay Ann, hey, Rainbow Mom, Stacy, Claudia, all you guys, thank you for being here. Hey, Sandy. Sandy says, hello. Hey, Allie. Hope all is well. I was with you on the Adam case and was surprised by the verdict, but thankful anyway for that sweet girl. That's where I'm at. I'm a little surprised. I was, but also not really to an extent because I had a feeling it would go that way. Um, and I'm a little disappointed. Um, and we're going to have an, we'll, we'll, we will talk about that in depth tomorrow. But let me go ahead and bring Jen up so we can get into our calls. Hello. Hello. How Hello. are you? I'm pretty good. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. <sighs> what a day, huh? Sexy wild thing. Carol freaking Papa Elvis Claus. Yes, what a day. Oh my gosh, what a day. Midwest Meemaw says, I was not surprised at all. <sighs> How Here's are you doing, thing. Bendy? I'm all right. Here's the thing. These verdicts are always like, leave me feeling hollow. Because at the end of the day, nothing is going to bring that sweet child back. And yeah. at the end of the day, her family was robbed of all of the milestones that she's going to reach. You know, all the things that happen to you when you're growing up, good and bad, you know, um, but you learn from them. And then we, the world was robbed of harmony's potential you don't know what she was going to be when she grew up we don't know what she would have brought to this world and now we'll, and we will never know and it it makes me sad that it happened in the first place you know and and so while i'm glad that there's a measure of justice right at the end of the day she's still gone and that's still sad yeah that's where i'm at look i'm glad that they have there's even a little bit 
of someone being held accountable for her not being here anymore. That yes. is great. I am happy for that. Yes, absolutely. But at the end of the day, I walk away feeling hollow is the perfect description because number one, Adam wasn't getting out anyways. Right. And right. we know that Kayla's going to get out soon. And I don't know, it just feels like it's not enough, but anyways, um, Hey, Aries girl. Claus has sent me some funny, funny, funny pictures for our next. <laughs> oh, I can't wait. Oh, I can't wait for you guys to see. Not the ones we're going to see tonight. I haven't got to do anything with them, except the thumbnail tonight is one of them. I actually. love your thumbnail. Can I say <laughs> one other thing that's completely off topic just because I'm excited about it? Yeah, of course. Y'all, part one of uh, Nick and Gypsy in their own words is finished. I'm going to premiere it Saturday soon as it's done processing and the checks and all the things. So um, I, I made a post on my, on my community tab. So um, <clears throat> let's just check there. And I'll that's where I'll post the link. Yay. I cannot wait. And um, thank you, Melissa Jade. And hello, by the way, that is why we did 530. I saw Melissa's live at seven. Amber's live at nine. 3940. Um, so we wanted to get it out of the way and um, be able to support those ladies. You want to go Absolutely. ahead and jump right in? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Let's hit it. Oh, let me grab my notebook because I do already have like little, just <laughs> the Zoolander <laughs> teacher. I do have little yes. notes though. Okay. So this one I just have, this is with Harley and it's, wait, let's see. Remember the last one? Wait, did we hear the sniffing vents? We did, didn't we? Yes. Yes. Okay, never mind. So this is not the one we're going to start on. This is the one that we ended on. So hold on. Let me get to the next one. I thought we had heard that. So the next one is with Amy Lang. And um, let me just skip ahead. It's just kind of more of the, there's not a whole lot of, being too serious in, in most of these calls. So, uh, Brie, there's no, uh, there is no video of her using a Russian accent. Maria, while uh, was R Russian, spoke with um, the, the accent of someone who speaks Spanish. Don't ask me why. Um, you know, she is, uh, Maria is an assassin that can charge, uh, $11 billion a minute. And so who are we to really question that? So there you go. Oh, a little bit. <laughs> Thank you guys. It's so polite fitting your schedule to work with others. Well, we try, they try to do it for us when we can, mm -hmm. you know. Well, thank you, MJ. See, that's so sweet. I, I mean, we should be, if we go over that, it's going to be probably 20 minutes or so, if that. So, um, not too much. But thank you for even offering. That is sweet. And then, all right. So, this one, like I said, it is with Amy Lang. And I'm pretty sure, like, my notes are a little all over the place. But I wrote something about cut, it, cut my head off, Angel inmate hung up. I don't know. Who knows what we're about to oh, do? Buckle up. I know what this is about. I, I remember this I, because this is you, whenever you were doing the processing, you sent um, me a clip and I know what this one's about. Oh, that's right. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yep. I remember sending you that. Okay. And then we'll go to ATS. Sounds like a plan. All right. Um, little traveling chat chat. I love it. Okay. Are you ready? <laughs> Yes, ma'am. Okay. And I will say, because I don't want to skip, I don't want us to miss the very beginning. So I'm not going to skip forward 10 seconds. But the image for this one, it's a little blurry because it's blown up. But these are the ex the actual, you know, from one of their video calls. So, okay. And yeah, it's just the pictures from them chatting on a video call. This is not a video call. It's a phone call. So anyways, all right, let's go. All right, here we go. Okay. Okay. Love you. Bye. Love you. Bye. Hello. This is a prepaid debit call from. <laughs> this call is from a correction facility and is subject to monitoring and recording. Thank you for using Global Telink. Hello. Hey, what's up? Hey. 
I don't know how much longer I'm going to be alive because uh, they're probably going to come and chop my head off. Uh, I talked to uh, to some people about some stuff, and I just, like, I don't know. Num- okay, so 29, so the E, well, he talked to the big homie, and I didn't, well, I had to talk to the big homie. And he said that uh, E's gone uh, is the next code. The reason he's there that long is because he's about to um, do something very bad to Mario. I've been losing my mind. <sighs> oh. <laughs> um. Yeah, like, so, like, Mario, okay, so, make a long story short. Uh, uh, Mario came back with me from, like, uh, GameStop and stuff, and so, like, uh, he was supposed to be fixing the carpet, right? And so, I don't know who told E about what happened, but make a long story short, he, he, oh, he, okay, so he was, was in my bedroom and I was like, dude, what you doing in my bedroom? And I saw my drawer like open a little bit and I was like, this is, you know, like you're creeping me out. You should be fixing the carpet, you know, or whatever. And so he like tried to like come on to me very like, uh, you know, like sexually and like forcefully. And apparently somehow he just found out about it. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. And I wasn't going to tell him because I was like going crazy and losing my mind. And uh, he was very, um, I don't know. The thing about it is, is uh, Mario's not even like that. He's like the one in the family that like went to school and has uh, stuff in medical. He was gonna look over, you know, like uh, the marks, you know, and like all that. And then he, I don't, I don't know. He just started like forcing himself on me. So apparently, you found out about it, and now I can't get him. And I don't know. Ty hasn't been at school, and I'm, I'm losing my mind. I, I, I'm losing my mind. Like I don't, I don't even know what to do. So. He wouldn't be mad at you for that, though, because you didn't do anything. Yeah, but you don't understand. Good. He's going to probably take Mario's life. <laughs> He's, or, 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 I mean, he might even he, he might even drop his head off. I mean, I don't even know. I mean, he's not going to let him by with this, and I can't get up with them. I asked the big homie, had he talked to them. It took me a while to get him. I didn't get him till late last night. And I, I finally got 29 to get the big homie. The big homie was like, yeah, uh, he's pretty pissed. He's gone to find him. He said he'll hide out until he finds him. And I'm just like, oh, my God. And I'm trying to find out who told him. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Uh, oh I've been, yeah, I've been running around here like I'm going crazy. I had to help people out. I had to help this lady in the wheelchair out and had to call for them because they're putting the stuff in events again and the stuff in events is coming out at us and they're trying to like kill us and it's like protein smell but you sniff it and you really it's like rat poison and you're going to die if you have it and it's just a lot so I don't even know how to get away from that because they want people wheelchair and other wheelchair and like what happens if I get put in a wheelchair then I got to worry about you doing this and like I don't know I can't get an answer and, and I don't Ty hasn't been at school I don't even know what's happening with that and so I'm trying to get up with the big homie again tonight and I'm trying to try to figure out but it's, I got to wait till later uh, to do to some other people to get messages back from 29 to the big homie back to me because I can't get up with them and I don't know how to get with them. And they know something why he's done with this dude and like, yeah, the dude should have did that to me. You know, I was very like uh, going crazy about it and terrified because he was like forcing himself on me and like, oh. and I I don't know if Ty told him, I don't know if Angel told him, I don't know who told, but he's probably going to you know, just, I don't know. I was I was gonna ask like who do you think told them all that? It could have been it could have been Angel because she's at the house so like you know she was helping pack the stuff and so like because people always stalked uh, AT and T and like uh, Tricare and stuff like that. I had to be very particular about it. So like we would take a sock and put a sock over the alarm. So like it was sensor that Angel was there. You know that she was like you know packing up the stuff or whatever. So you put a sock over the sensor and stuff like that. So like Angel knew you know because she had been packing up stuff or whatever. And so like she knew about all that. You know, like, and the sister did pick up a lot of things. So if you could walk through the garage, walk in the house, or walk in my bedroom, and the sensor would never pick it up just because of the way the sensor was. And you could walk downstairs, turn to the left where the, where the storage room or where G's room's at, and it would never pick it up. The sensor would never pick you up. You know what I'm saying? But, like, if someone was going to be in the house moving around all day, so you just put a sock over it so the sensor didn't pick it up. Because, you know, it's always getting stalked, ATT account getting checked, you know, like, whatever. And I just had to hurry up and get out of there because it's hard to be emotionally abused, and like, you know. Thank you for using Global Telling. Thank you for using Global Tell. Okay. Um, first of all, she can't even say Gannon's name. That just went all through me. G's room. Really, Leticia? Right. You can't even say his name, can you? Mm, okay. 
Um, otherwise, this whole Mario came back with me from GameStop to fix the carpet and he tried to force himself on me sexually. And now he's found out. Oh, my God. Wonder how he's found out. He's probably going to kill him. Well, if E, <laughs> if her <laughs> toilet boy, if anybody has ever has found out anything, we know they found out from Tisha. So let's just get that straight, straight Correct. right there. But Correct. Uh, what do you think, Correct. Wendy? I mean, first of all, Allie, did you have that like turned up? <laughs> no, that, no, Tisha was just speed talking. Well, actually, do I? I might, you know that? Yeah, because no, normal, that would, oh, no. Sh but shut the front door. Yeah, Amy sounded not fast like that. It was only Tisha, too. Um, I mean, listen, but, I've heard her speak rapidly, but that one was extra even for Leticia. In fact, it's so fast, I feel like I need to take a lot of time between my words so we can balance this shit out. Because she, wow. Yeah. Um, I'm actually, so no, inmate hung up on that call. In, mm -hmm. She hung up. So if someone asked, did Amy hang up? No, she just hung up in the middle of the call. Correct. Correct. As you Let's do. See, though, in the if there's anything on that day. Okay. What day is it again? The seventh? Yeah, yes. I yeah. Okay. I mean, that was extra even for Leticia. But again, it goes back to who she's talking to dictates the story that she's going to tell. She has an agenda. She wants... Um, she wants uh, Amy to <clears throat> repeat this story. And she's, this is all about this dadgum video that does not exist. This is not yeah. the, this is no, this is not a video that actually exists. This is completely made up. Um, but this is her trying to use Amy to get the word out that, you know, all these things, whatever, whatever, yada, yada, yada are happening and Leticia is innocent, which is obviously a whole entire lie. Yeah. Oh, definitely. Okay. So on April 4th, she refused the law library, but just to, not only did she refuse, but she told the officer, I don't go anymore. I told the commander that when he came in the other day, there are people that follow me in there and try to get me to join the Mexican mafia so they can take me off. I'm not going to go anymore. Even though she just became pro se, like within the last few weeks. Now she's not going because the Mexican mafia. So. Tisha, nobody's trying to get you to join the Mexican mafia. Stop it. That's ridiculous. That's, that's, that's not how... First of all, no, just stop. Just stop right now. And I'm tired of her doing that, too. You know, had enough, Letitia. <laughs> um, then on, um, let's see, April the 5th, she got a leg brace. Um, Deputy Border and I were tasked with fitting a standard leg brace for inmate Stalk. The leg brace is typically used in dress-out jury trials. Ooh, this is what Adam... Oh, interesting. Listen. Yes. The leg brace is typically used in dress-out jury trials under civilian clothes as to not disclose the person on trial is in custody. Inmate Stalk is a smaller frame female and has indicated she plans to represent herself in trial. In order to accommodate this, it is important the leg brace allows at least minimum movement for inmate Stalk. And that's it. They just fitted her for it. So let's see if there was anything else. Oh, no, no. Wait. Go, go. She said to be too tight. Go, 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 go. Let's see. What does this say? Inmate Stout. Oh, wait, yeah. She stated she would not wear it because it was too tight fitting for the leg brace to be applied under her clothing. She will be wearing clothing that will be too tight fitting. Yeah. Okay, Tisha. I thought you lost all this weight. So wouldn't your clothing be too big for you? What happened to that? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Then she got a suspension notice from the law library. This was on April 2nd. Oh, dear. Out of order. 
<laughs> um, she was laying on her bed with a blanket over her. She sat upright on the mattress when we walked in and called her name. Although she knows who I am, I identified myself to her. I was in civilian attire and wearing a respirator mask. I told her I wanted her to take advantage of the law library program she'd refused to attend. She repeatedly said for me to, quote, take me off the law library list or take me off the list. They included law library and that she didn't need the law library. I told her this would mm -hmm. cause her to be suspended. And again, she's member. She's worried, but she doesn't want to go in the middle of the night, which is the only time she can go. So. Mm. You know, it's Tisha's world. We're all just living in it. Yeah, it makes her sleep all day. And then the next incident report is April 26th. So that's kind of all that was going on for the a good portion of April, at least right here. There are some things out of order, so I can do some searches while we listen. But Okay. So I know this one's blurry too, but that's why you have the littler one down here. I had like 20 different poses of her uh, flipping people off in court. And that's why I use these ones. So. Are you ready? This is with I the am. unknown YouTuber. And um, it's with the unknown YouTuber. Let's see. It's about her dad. And so, so again, what, you guys in the chat are allowed to have any opinions you want. Don't ever feel like you can't. But I just ask that you please keep it respectful towards this YouTuber when it comes to her family being sick and stuff. Because she does chat about her parents and they're very ill. And I just, um, just to keep it respectful there. Um and Tisha talks about ninjas that love to braid hair in this one and oh, her biological hair braiding thing. ninjas make an appearance. Have in, hair braiding ninjas have entered the chat. Cool. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Mystic Firefly. Um, I can I can I want to look into some of that anyways for sure. Hey Mela's mom. So I'll definitely keep you posted. Hey Lucia. All right, you ready? Yes, ma'am. Hey, Vanessa. No idea who you are talking about. What do you mean? The un No, because it's an unknown. It's just, a, okay, so it's a YouTuber that Tisha was talking to. Um, and that's we, it, really. Yeah, it's just a YouTuber that Letitia was talking to that, you know, we're not, sh we're not sure what the deal is between the two of them currently. And so out of abundance of caution and to respect this YouTuber's privacy, we've just decided to leave it as leave it at unknown YouTuber. Yeah. And her name, her legal name is actually not in the file anyways, only her phone number. I just, it's just best to keep it like that. So yeah, I, yeah, right. Not in the, on the call log or whatever. All right. You ready? Mm-hmm. Okay. A link. Good morning, Leticia. Hey, how are you? I'm okay. How are you? Okay. How's your dad doing? Um, he's starting to have um, really bad side effects from the treatment, and uh, oh, God, he's barely eating. He's mm -hmm. getting thin, mm -hmm. and it's so sad because I take videos of him as much as I can, you know? Yeah. For his progress, and oh, man, yesterday was bad. Oh, I'm sorry. I was but I just for tried yesterday to and I thought about it. Thank you. I appreciate that. Yeah. So what I ended up doing is um, getting a puppy. Mm -hmm. And I get to bring the puppy to the cancer center with us. Oh, and trying to get... Yeah. And it's helping the other patients. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? That's probably the good part, too. You get to see other people shine through it. Oh. So I get to like do therapy with these people. You know, we all talk together because we're all the same ones at certain times. What kind of dog so is it? It's a it's a funny mix. It's a Vicente hound and a boxer. Aww. And he's so cute. He's got a white mark going down his face like a skunk. Mm hmm And I rescued him. That's amazing. Yeah. Great guy. How are you? Uh, I've been struggling. I've been, these ninjas keep coming in my room and they force me to braid my hair and join the Mexican mafia, but I don't want to be in there, but they had me to put my hair in like a thousand braids and they wouldn't leave my room until I did. 
Are you talking to anybody about this? Uh, no, because I tried to talk to Mental Health like two weeks ago. They don't try to help me because uh, they just don't want to be involved and like be subpoenaed and stuff like that. So they just kind of just brush it over, you know. But you would think that it would have some kind of help for someone to talk, for you to talk to with no. what you're experiencing. No, and even though I get to eat and stuff now, I'm I'm more segregated. You know what I mean? Just because like I'm housed on the side with this one lady, she's seventy four, she's mentally ill, so I can't talk to her in the vent. Then the lady under me is in a wheelchair and she's mentally ill. Then the girl under me, her schizophrenia is five times worse than mine. So I'm just housed in that section of the mentally ill, really mentally ill. And um, cause I'm, cause I'm, I, even though I come out with people, I still am segregated in my cell, you know what I mean? And uh, it is tough, but I mean, I do get to eat, you know, food instead of starving. You know, they're letting me get the, like the food off canteen now. Oh, you do? Yeah, like I ordered it, I got some today. I got like some candy and some chips and some stuff like that. Um, so remember, I couldn't get it before. Remember when you tried to send me a... Yep, they took back package. my money. Yeah, yep. they, they, um, we're allowed to, I'm allowed to get food now, so I ordered some in today's commissary day, so I got some of that. But you, I been you know, they, won't, they won't let me send messages or pictures, you know that, right? On the, um, I think they the sent internet. a message that said it had to, they shut it down for right now, and I think they're trying to figure out a way to do it appropriately, you know, like people are doing things, you know, there's always somebody who messes it up for the group, you know what I mean? Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah but you can send the, you can send letters on there, you just can't do pictures, but I gotta see your picture on there, your profile picture. Pretty scary, huh? <laughs> I have long hair. No, it's not yeah. scary. Um, yeah, so. No, it's kind of nice to, for you to see who's talking to you, you know what I mean? I know, I know, I know. yeah. Yeah, and then, I don't know, I've just been, it's just, they keep coming to me with this chant about the snitching, like snitches, you know, we pull down their britches, and then they become bitches, and then we give them bitches, and then they end up in bitches, and like, they, the, the ninjas just keep chanting this to me myself, and like, I don't know. Are you on medication? No, I don't have oh. meds. Okay. Well, I was taking this nightmare meds because I have, because you know, like I have, I have sleepwalking issues and nightmares. I've always had that. I used to end up with my car that I've driven my car. You know, that's why I um, I joined, I didn't ever think joined the military, but then got ready to go to basic, but got disqualified automatically because I had sleepwalking. But um, oh. anyway, so I took a purgation for that, but like, it made me worse. Like, it made me have, like, sleep apnea almost, like, shaking and jerking and, you know, because it's just like a blood pressure pill or something, they said. And then I asked them, could I get back on the Thorazine? Because I used to take Thorazine. Uh, I tried it in 2016 for a little bit, but, like, I would go to work in my classroom and I couldn't, like, couldn't, I mean, I was, like, zombied. You know what I mean? I didn't like that kind of stuff. That's why I don't like meds. And then... So you had side effects. Yeah, and then I had took, G I think it's Giordani or something like that. It was Geo something. Uh, they tried a different couple of ones when I had treatment with the school district. Uh, they tried a couple of things, but um, I don't know. I'm just not a fan of meds, and I'm trying so hard, but I'm getting, like, I get worse, and I go through these phases where I get really, really worse, but then I'm okay for a while. Then I get bad, and I'm okay for a while. Wow. So, yeah. so you can't get letters no more? Is that yeah, what you told me in this combo? Yeah, you can't get them through here. You have to do them in the app. If if you go on the app and find okay. the email scanning or whatever, uh, I did get your card uh, for, before they shut oh, it good. down. So I think that they shut it down yesterday. Yesterday was the last day, and I did get the card. And then you just have to um, go in there and do email scanning or, or something like that, and then you're allowed to... Um, they, they print them off. You can do pictures that way. Uh, oh, I'm sure I'll figure it out somehow. Yeah, because 
uh, my family sent pictures through there, and what they do is they print them off and bring them to you. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay, that should be interesting. They come huh? from some that app from New Mexico or something, and they bring them to you. So I got those that way, and note letters that way. I don't know how oh. they're going to do the biblical stuff because I asked them about it how many times, but I haven't got an answer. Because I'm like, hey. well, can, we, can we still get that? Yeah. Did you like that little prayer? Oh, yeah, yeah. I like that. The dog was so cute. I'm not a cat fan, but I love the dog. So I was over there like. They didn't give you that paper with that prayer? Yeah, it was in there. Yeah, the paper was in there. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, I do that all the time for me. Yeah, no, I appreciate it. No problem. When I get, I get, I, when I come out of my cell, I get a little better the more time I'm out, you know, listen to music and kind of. But then, like, I'll be locked down until tomorrow at 8 when I go in in a few minutes. So I'll be so, so crazy and all over the place. And there'll be all kinds of people in my room. Can you still get books? Yeah, yeah, I can get books. Um, okay. They still let you get that kind of stuff. I'm hoping they still let us get our re- religious material. I don't know, like our daily bread and stuff. We haven't heard answer on that yet. Because okay. I need all that. Like, I, you know, get in a routine with that every day. You know, we've seen the letter on the internet um, that you wrote to the judge, and you yeah. wrote about your son, huh? Yeah. Oh, and he's in Mexico, and it's pissing me off because he should be in school right now, but he took him to Mexico because he's pissed, and, I mean, this is one of those things where, like, I didn't raise him, so, like, he took him to Mexico when he was little, and, like, you know, I had no pool and anything, and he's mad because he found out the situation about Mario... So, like, Mario was supposed to fix the carpet, and I he came back with me from GameStop, and he was supposed to fix the carpet, whatever, whatever. And so he kind of, like, came on to me, like, almost, like, sexually, like, very advanced himself physically. Well, I never told E about it. I never told, and I guess Ty must have told. So E has gone to Mexico to find Mario, and I can't get up with him. I haven't talked to him. Too. Well, I talked to the big homie who got the message to him from upstairs, but I don't know. Oh. He's probably going to, there's no telling what he's going to do to Mario when he finds him. How old is he? Huh? How old is your son? 15. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah, 15. So when Chance and I had separated for a while, we hadn't been married or nothing yet, but then Chance was like, we'll just, I, he wanted his son anyway. He was like, we'll just take care of him and all that. But then he took him to Mexico and there was nothing I could do. He's got dual citizenship. So he would just take him back and forth and he knew there was nothing I could do. I mean, when he take him in the mountains of Mexico, what was I going to do? You know, send a lawyer to find him? You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. So. Uh, how was your team going for you? For, how um, was going? How your was team, going? like your your PI and your... Oh, yeah, she's going family. to... She's going to go to Myrtle Beach um, to get that phone with the stuff that clears me. We already have it on the iCloud, but she wants the phone, too. Uh, she's like, I want... We want to have it... We want to have it double, triple, you know what I mean? Like, all these places, we want to have it saved. And so she's going to go to Myrtle Beach to get the phone, and she's going to fly to Mexico. Well, I'm glad you're getting help, because you know I was worried about that, right? Oh, yeah, yeah. She's done nothing. I hope she's going to go to Mexico. She's going to talk to Ian Ty in Mexico. And um, she's going to get with Angelica and get... Uh, there's our, he already did a disposition, but um, she's going to go still talk to him in Mexico and stuff like that. That way, you know, he's not going to change anything or just help. Yeah, I, I'd be so confused. I wouldn't know how to represent myself. That'd be hard. Yeah, yeah. But right now, you know what, to be honest with you, the jail has been so cooperative since going to court. Uh, I'm, glad, I'm glad you're out of, um, um, what did they have you in? Your, the yeah. When you're in that room all by yourself? Or yeah, whatever? Oh, I was in solitary confinement, yeah. Oh, solitary, okay. Yeah, and see, that's the thing. Like, I tried to get those attorneys to talk. Let's sit down and have an adult conversation, you know, and they would never do it. When all I did was had a simple conversation with a deputy who didn't pass it on or wrote a report, and then we were able to have a conversation about my security, and, you know, they've been nothing but 
kind and helpful, whether they mean it or not. You know, it's not up to me to judge that, you know what I mean? But they've been nothing but helpful and kind since then, you know, since we went to that last court. And I was just like, hey, it's discrimination, you know? And so that was something we tried to accomplish. Huh? What's your next hearing? Mm, I'm not sure. I, oh, okay. Yeah, it's... She's, I want her, we got the evidence saved, and, like, so, honestly, I'm not in any, I'm not in any worried about it anymore. I'm not stressed about it, because that was something that the PD wouldn't do, right? They wouldn't go to the bottom of the beach. They had all these restrictions. They wouldn't come in, because I didn't want to give them, you know, my iCloud password over the, over the phone or video. I begged them, begged them, please come in, please come in 10 minutes, and, you know, take this off my brain to get this off my iCloud, you know, and they never would do it. And Caitlin came right in, you know what I mean? We had a plan devised and went through with it, you know, and that took so much stress off of me because I kept having all these nightmares. Oh, my God, one day iCloud is just going to crash. <laughs> Apple is going to shut down. You know, like, it probably wasn't going to happen, but it was just, you know what I mean, just, like, worrying because I didn't have someone to have a backup because I couldn't get anybody in, you know what I mean? And so, yeah. And then the PDs kept being like, well, just give us the information over the phone. I'd be like, no, like, this is not something you, I want you here with me to go over it like Caitlin did. You know what I mean? Yeah. And so now that. Do you still get to work on your case, like go to the library or whatever? Well, yeah, but it's just a difficult time to go with all this stuff going on in my brain from. Oh, okay. 2.30 to 4.30 a.m. is not an effective and productive time. And that's just what they have available right now is what they told me. So I went for a while, but then I just, I don't know. First of all, I was going on Sundays, and I don't believe I'm going on Sundays because that's, you know, what some people consider Sunday the Sabbath, some consider Saturday the Sabbath, but in my upbringing, Sunday is the Sabbath, you know. You have one minute remaining. And uh, so I try to spend all day with the Lord on that, but... I just told them there were no issues. There was no problems with that. I'd figure out another plan B until they had another time available. Okay. So. Whenever I can um, email you then, let me know. Or to video call, that's what it's called. I've never done it before. So you, yeah. I have to do it later. Yeah, I'll set it up again. Um, for next yeah, because I got denied three times. Yeah, I'll set it up again <laughs> for next week. You said the only time you're not available is the mornings, right, when you're with your dad? Yeah, between 10 and 12. Uh, central time, right? Yeah. Okay. Cool. That's right. You're an hour behind. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, uh, still praying for you and uh, keeping your prayers or keep losing my mind, but I got to stay sane because I, I, I pretty much got this now. I just got to stay focused on not losing my mind every day. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. But it'd be all right. I, I always think about you. All right. Thank you. You have a good day. Okay. Stay bye. Bye bye. Okay. I'm sorry, that picture. <laughs> First thing I see, it's hard to even think about anything else. Look at it, Will. <laughs> he knows. I'm telling you, you guys. <clears throat> I'm telling you. And I don't think it would be violating attorney-client privilege if he were to confirm or deny. But I'm pretty sure either. I think he's wearing your fucked either way on his shirt underneath. I'm telling you. <laughs> on a t-shirt underneath yep um claws i haven't if you sent them like in the last couple hours before this i haven't seen them but i am very excited to see because she somehow had sent me a picture i think it was last night of like Letitia's whole entire tongue out of her mouth during her being wrestled after the jesus. monster can yeah oh, jesus <laughs> they were they were funny. So oh my I'll God. show you later. Probably look like anyway. a whole demon. Oh, also, there was one other comment I, I wanted to address. Just somebody, uh, Bonnie, became a member. Thank you, Bonnie, for joining. I appreciate that so much. Um, so anyways, mm -hmm. yes, Crumb Crochet, you'll see it soon. But, um, yeah, so this person, um, they're obviously concerned. They're like, are you taking medicine? Are you telling people about this stuff? Like, also, hello, we've seen the letter you wrote the judge about your son. And right. um, Letitia just keeps spinning and spinning in it. Oh, know? she don't give a rat's fat kneecap. Not at all. Mm -mm. 
Mm -mm. She's like, oh, yeah, you know, oh, I, I'm glad you brought that up. I've been meaning to tell you, you know, there's a lot of drama surrounding that. And, you know, I'm very upset about it. He's in Mexico. He's got dual citizenship, blah, blah, blah. Shut up, Tisha. Mm -hmm. Um, Tamisha, thank you so much for the super sticker. That's super sweet. And she said in the chat, uh, Tamisha said, okay, dumb question, but if she truly had evidence that would get her out, wouldn't an attorney, uh, wouldn't her attorney help her with that? And I'm like, that's not a dumb question. That's the truth. If there was truly something that would prove she was innocent at the time, you wouldn't be sitting in jail for another, this is a year later, just sitting oh, there absolutely. waiting. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. Absolutely. Um, yeah. <clears throat> I, I, my favorite part is, you know, these, uh, these other attorneys, these, these ex attorneys of mine, you know, if they would have just sat down with me and had an adult conversation, well, Letitia, first of all, let me just say this. They were probably the only adults in the room. It's very difficult to have an adult conversation with somebody like you. I'm just, I mean, it is what it is. You're not an, you know, you act ridiculous. Yeah, a hundred percent. And then Andrea, no, she does not have a son. And Tess, I think she said 15. And okay, yeah. she claims that this son in another call that we've already done, she claimed that this son, you know, knew Harley and was around Harley a lot and stuff. And <laughs> God only knows what Harley thought when that letter became public knowledge um, that oh, she wrote God. to the judge. Yeah, I can't even or imagine. <laughs> I can't even yes. imagine. Me neither. Me neither. She's such Her, a fucking no. embarrassment, I swear. Yeah, exactly. There's a reason why Harley doesn't talk to her anymore. You know, there's probably right. many reasons. Right. Um, okay, oh, well, our next... You, uh, oh. Just over here throwing things around? Is that what's happening? <laughs> Sorry, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Just throw my vape. Forget it. <laughs> Had a, look what you've done, Letitia. <laughs> thanks, Tisha. Like, the, yeah. like we used to say, the thanks oh, Obama. Oh, yeah, for thanks Obama. <laughs> thanks, Tisha. I forgot about that. <laughs> <laughs> Um, okay, so number 10, this is the call with the background noise, you guys. Oh, so yes. this is the one. It was a lot worse. It's still pretty bad. I, I softened it some and it's better, but it's just, it's still, you can still hear it, but you can hear them. Um, so this is April the 10th. It, uh, you can see it on the screen. She talks about leaving earth, dying, being hypnotized. Um, he also, this is weird though. The call ends. She says, okay, let me, I'm on, I'm on the, I'm talking to you through the TV. Let me call you through the phone. The next call is with Amy through the phone, and it's oddly clear with no background noise. So I don't know what phone she was on at this time. Okay, I think I got it. I noticed when I was doing May calls that some of the calls are on the tablet. And oh, I'm wondering okay. if that's what happened here. Okay, that makes Maybe sense. Maybe that's we'll what it is. Uh, that would make sense uh, because you can clearly at first I thought she's just like making up spinning more BS, but there's clearly a difference in the audio. Yes. Does it sound almost like tin canny echoey? Yeah. There's a weird echo to it. That's the tablet. It's bad. No okay. That's the tablet. That's whenever the tablet. I, um, whenever you do the May calls when we get to that, like, well, I'm, you know, when it's your, you know what I mean? I don't know what I why I started it out like that. You know what I mean. I'll show you um, from the calls I did how to find out which it whether it's from the phone or from the tablet. Okay. I'll show you where well, I figured you, that MK. out. Thank you, uh, MK. Thank you, MK. Liam. MK, Liam, Mad you membership, sir. Yes, and thank you so much, and welcome to the new members. Um, Madcap remembers in a past conversation, she mentioned being able to do calls on the tablet. Yeah. I mean, okay, so earbuds, it's loud. You can hear their voices. It's mm -hmm. just the background noise is also loud, and it's softened quite a bit, but let's just go right into it. You yeah. guys know what to expect. Um, so, okay, and okay. then we'll hear the difference with this one and the next one. Okay.
Hi. Hey, what's up? I can't hear you. good? Yeah. Yeah, I just came off of getting hypnotized. I was hypnotized for a couple of days. Oh, really? How'd that go? And I don't know. I was hypnotized. Uh-huh. What? What day did that work? <laughs> In like two days, I was hypnotized, and um, <clears throat> the ninjas were just being all crazy. I couldn't contain them, and then they tried to follow me again. I left to go to another room. I don't know if I can order some water. Or- I don't know. They were just so they had me hypnotized doing crazy stuff, you know. But I don't know what I was doing. I just know I was hypnotized because they came and told me they were hypnotizing me. So. Uh, what what day did the things happen? It's been like two days. I've been hypnotized. Okay. You just yeah. Just came out of it today. Yeah, I just came out of it today. Okay. Yeah, they, I, I came. I came out of it because uh, I asked them, you know, like could I only do it, and they let me come out of it. Mm. How are you? Uh, how are you feeling? Uh, my head hurts really bad. This headache really don't go away, but I just I keep drinking water. I've had them for a long time now. Ever since I got hit with the boot pill from my classroom, I've had bad headaches. And then when I fell on the steps, when I heard, uh, I thought I heard people coming in the house. So scared, I fell on the steps one time, and then. I hit my head on the foot, and ever since then, I've been having bad headaches. Oh, it might have, it might have something to do with it then, if you've gotten a, if you've had a head injury. Yeah. Yeah, then remember I got the head injury in here, at this place, but I'm only going to be alive probably like a few more days. Uh, so whenever they take me to do the next hypnosis, uh, they probably are going to take me to the other side. And then I go to, like, a lady that's, like, a judge. And she will put me in full uh, hypnosis. And then I'll be with them on the other side. Like, um, no longer on Earth. So, if you could tell my lady, my friend, that uh, helps me. Um, mm-hmm. that, huh? Yeah, but I'm if you could tell Caitlin that I'm not going to be... Um, I'm not going to be here anymore. But I'm only out with a couple of days left. In case, she, uh, in case she tries to come here and talk to me, uh, so she'll know that I'm going to go transfer to the other side. I'm leaving, I'm leaving the earth. Like, I'm not going to be alive anymore. They're going to take me to, like, death. But I'm going to get a little tip between good death or bad death. So, so if you let her know that if she comes, I'm, I'm gonna, I might be gone, you know? Just in case she looks for me. <laughs> she came yesterday and I told her that the ninjas, what what was going on uh, with the ninjas. And um, she talked to me for a little bit uh, um, yesterday or whatever. Because so, I told her about like, you know, you know that dude I was married to, right? The Chomo? Yeah. Yeah, him. So we were talking about the Chomo. And stuff like that. And then I got your um I got your letter. Um, oh yeah, I got it. Uh, I was just gonna say I don't think it really matters about you no know, like birth certificate because like he's not on trial and it's a public document. Anybody can go look it up. I mean in fact people have already looked it up on vital records. You know, what I'm saying? I, I think it means to prove, you know, that you know these people. If, if they were to try to say that, like they didn't know you, you know what I mean? If you have that proof, oh, that you they can't know. say that. There's pictures of us on Facebook. <laughs> yeah, there's plenty of it. There's thousands and thousands of pages of pictures and he's on Facebook with me. Are you all are everybody? You, are you? Am I what? 
Are you okay with Are them taking you? Uh, yeah, because I'm I'm okay with my soul with Jesus, so I mean I'm okay with him taking me as long as I because when we die anyway, we don't go straight to heaven anyway. You know, we have to be in limbo. We wait, and then when Jesus brings all his children home, that's when we go home. So you you are waiting anyway. The dead is because that's why they say the dead in Christ will rise. So you're going to be waiting anyway. So I'm just going to go with them until I'm waiting. You know what I mean? Yeah. If they let me call you, I'll call you. Yeah, they'll, they'll probably let me make phone calls sometimes, you know? I hope so. But I definitely know I can, uh, I can, I know I can video you because, uh, that was one of the things that, like, is so cool about going to the other side from Earth because they have, like, more technology than we have here. They have stuff that you haven't even seen. Yeah, like, when they put the chip in your arm again and they take over you, um, you can control, like, they try to they read your mind, but, like, you can control other people's minds. Oh, really? Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah, so you remember you're supposed to control the weather? Like coming yeah. out? Yeah. And this is what I heard on the news or uh the lady people say that it's gonna rain Monday. But I was like, that's not her birthday. <laughs> yeah, so I thought I'd tell you that. It's going out because I'm on this um I'm on this uh T V talking to you there's like a little mini uh -huh. tv uh -huh. yeah so i'm on that now but what? i just told her to say hi because yeah, i was yeah. yeah, i was i was tuesday tuesday i'm gonna have to call you on the actual phone because this is going out okay i'm on the tv i'll call you on the phone okay. Okay. So Girl, apparently uh, she's going, yeah, apparently she's going to the afterlife and she'll they'll probably let me call you at some point. Oh my god. It's now just, she knows what happens after death too. Oh, you're in limbo. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> um Dude, this picture for the next call, does that not look like, I mean, she freaking, number one, she reminds me of that, of one of the girls off Roseanne, the, oh, what's her name? Darlene, Sarah Gilbert. Yes. Yes. She looks like her, but number two, she truly looks like, like at first it was funny, right? This picture, mm -hmm. just to look at it. Then it's, it's a little scary. She truly looks like she's like just pure evil in this and another thing in the screenshot where i got this from so i flipped through all the trial footage and i was trying to find like um when crime talk had zoomed in on her because they have the best footage mm -hmm. as far as visually it's cleaned up a little bit and um you remember in that um first video of her in south carolina how her eyes are like darting back and forth yes. they were doing that they were doing that in this, in trial. Oh. I just didn't notice at the time. Yes, her eyes were like doo, 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 going back and forth really fast. I don't know. She might be demon possessed. I'm not even joking. She, she just, something going on in there. I feel like, I don't know if she's demon possessed, but I will, I will say, I think that, um, there's a high chance that, she, well, maybe, yeah, no, she might be demon possessed. I don't know. Uh, yeah, I was going to say, she's pure evil inside, whenever, I'm telling you. Whenever I see the pictures of of her, I also see, like, I see shark eyes. I can't help it every single time. Like the you black know? eyes? Yes, where they're just, because when you get, like, when they film sharks, like, up close, there's no, they're flat. The, there's no like shine to a shark's eyes, you know, mm -hmm. and, and that's because of where they're at, you know, they don't, it, but it, she is just, there's no, 
there's no glimmer. There's, it's like, there's nothing there. It's just a void, you know, looking into like her eyes, uh, Dahmer's eyes, those Bundy people like there's that, Chris like that. Watts. Mm -hmm. It's like the, it's what I picture when the never ending story is trying to explain the nothing that's what it sounds like to me. Just void. Nothing. Yeah. Amber said, I think she's demon possessed. ATS news. And then mm -hmm. um, listen to this one. Klaus said, she looks more like Rob Kardashian instead oh, of Kim. Oh, my God. <laughs> Klaus. I'm sorry. That was pretty funny. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Klaus. Yeah. Search and rescue, by the way. Um, I'm not, you know, she they're going through it. So I'm sending all oh. my love back to you. And now I'm going to check it, try to get caught up a little bit on messages after this live and I'll get back to you. Oh, search and rescue mom. Bless you. If you need anything, tell Allie and Allie can tell me, or if you want to reach out and email me, you know, that's cool too. I just don't want to put a bunch of pressure on you, but if you need anything, you know how to get a hold of me. I can, yeah, I can send you her email okay. or whatever you want me to. I'll, I'll hook you guys up. Um, Watts, 100% completely void, dead eyes, soulless. <clears throat> yeah, Let's it's weird. Just, uh, comments. She does not need a priest. She needs 25 priests, <laughs> said Elizabeth. Hey, Jay. <laughs> Okay. Thank you, Melissa Jade. So yeah, Melissa Jade is live after this, then ATS News. Make sure to subscribe to those channels and Bendy's, of course. And okay, so this next call is through the phone, not the TV. Oh, Lil Red. Thank you for the super sticker. That's Aww. freaking sweet. Thank you. Yeah, through the TV. L Letitia, it's a tablet. Come on. See, this is <laughs> what I think is happening here. I'd be very curious to know just exactly when the change came, when Letitia stopped being pro se and, and, and uh, Josh Tolini started representing her. Because I think this is, um, you know, she did say, oh, bless it. Yeah, I didn't want to say that. Bless, with, with bless, this, bless it, bless it, search and rescue. Everything's going to be okay, babe. I'm sending you all the good juju. I promise. All of it's going to work out. Um, I'm curious about that because um, I feel like this is very strategic on Letitia's part. We know there ain't shit. I mean, there's obviously something wrong with Letitia, okay? But what she's doing here is malingering. Um, she, there, you know... She's probably gone to the law, law, the law library and looked something up. And now, she, you know, now she's going to play it. But um, I would be very curious um, when the, when it changed, when she went from being pro se to uh, Josh Tolini representing her. Very curious. I have to look it up. I can look it up. Okay, I was going to say I'll look it up, but I'll just play this next call. We can look, but either one of you know, anybody can look and then we can talk about it when we come back. Oh, you want me to look it up right now? Oh, no. No, I will. I'll, <laughs> okay. no I'm just yeah. kidding. I, I was going to look on her docket. It should be on her docket because it'll oh, be, yeah, uh, yeah that's okay. the easiest place to look because it should let us know. Because anytime she has the, so like when she had the intention to go pro se, she had to file with the court. And when she has the intention of having an attorney, they have to file um, so that, you know, they, they know she's represented. So it should be in her, in her docket. Okay. I think I can find it pretty easily. I'll look. Okay. But uh, what point in the trial is this still from this is from a year just right after she's been in there just over a year so no babe I'm i think kidding. she's asking about the thumbnail oh the still. um 
<clears throat> oh gosh, I couldn't tell you because I went through so many. I went through Crime Talks trial footage and I know I went through like day 16, 17, 18. It's probably right in there somewhere. But yeah. I flipped around because there's not a ton of times where it's zoomed in on just her. And I was trying to get the screenshot when it would be the least blurry because once you blow them up, they get even more blurry. Um, so I'm going to help you. I'm going to show you how to fix that, babe. I got you. About when you blow them up? Like, yeah. Yeah. I mean, I can I can clear it up a little bit or and then I know like that AI trick you did, but you can still tell it's not like the exact picture. You know what I mean? So Is what you want to do? Well, you do it. OK, so first enhance the picture. Don't blow it up. Mm -hmm. first enhance it and then make it bigger. Oh, okay. And it won't I be as bad. Go to enhance it after. So make it, make it just, a, I mean, obviously, you know, you don't like, you know how you have it zoomed in, make it as big as the dimensions for a thumbnail. So what is mm -hmm. that? I'll tell you, you know what that is, right? So set mm -hmm. and then set it as background just as it is, right? Then enhance it and it should be fine. Right. But see, this one is actually not zoomed in like some of them are. Like the ones that are zoomed in are the ones that are more blurry. The, I, I grabbed this one when um, okay. he was zoomed in on her. Like he had. So there are times when he turns her window into the full screen or there are yes. times when you have a window for her. Right. One for the right. judge. One for, so, OK. Are but we this ready? one you should be able to clear up and they'll fix it. Although it is hilarious to me what AI does to her eyes. There's been a couple of times I've had to redo it because AI messes up her eyes. Well, like in the one that I saw, it makes it almost look cartoonish. You know what I mean? A little bit like. Yes. If they can't like, well, because this one is a good one to do it too, because see how her eyes are big and open. It won't mess with anything. But in that one where her head sort of tilted down, AI is having to guess at her eye. And that's why it looks like that. And it was so funny to me that oh, I just left it. I mean, I could have fixed it, but it was funny. <laughs> um, and then look, some some golf girl says, "Sorry, her wrists look bigger than they say. <laughs> they do look bigger right there." <laughs> Thank you, Jim and Akram online. I appreciate that su super sticker so very much. Hold on, let me just check something before we go any further. I think Gemini Crime Online is the one that, hold on, I just want to double check myself because I might be crazy. Gemini Crime Online. Oh my, I just seen something really interesting. Yes, okay. So Gemini Crime Online has been doing really great videos on Gannon's case and very detailed. Like some of them are, you know, longer, 50 minutes, an hour and 20 minutes, just really great deep dive so you guys go check out their channel i'm gonna drop it in the chat right now okay all right and then jen check the private chat in just a second i'm gonna write something back there once we start the call okay okay let's go. okay hello this is a prepaid debit call from An inmate at the El Paso County Criminal Justice. This call is from a correction facility and is subject to monitoring and recording. Thank you for using Global Telink. Hello? Hey, I can yeah. hear you so much better now. <laughs> I had to get off the TV, but it doesn't work that good on the TV screen. Oh, that's all good. Um, no, I'm saying I'm, I'm glad to hear from you today because I, I was thinking about you actually. I was yeah. talking about you earlier. I was like, I haven't heard from her since Tuesday. Yeah, well, I didn't get to come out because the people who don't like our group was working, and then they could stay in there. And then um, it was, like, only 15 minutes. And then uh, I had to talk to someone another, another day about putting a chip in my arm, uh, like how I'm going to get the chip put in and stuff like that. And then yesterday I talked to Caitlin. Uh, she came right before I went out. Uh, so I did that, and that's why I was gone for a long time. I'm just glad to hear from you and hear that you're doing okay. Um, 
what did what did Caitlin have to say about all this? Oh, she doesn't know all of it yet. I told her about the ninjas and what was going on with that. And she was like, okay, and she talked to me for a while. And then uh, she just told me, like, she had done a bunch of good stuff. And I was like, okay, good. And we talked about the chomo. And uh, we talked about that for a little bit. And then we talked about uh, not having, a, like, uh he can't, like, you know, do the black whale anymore. And so she was like, yeah, it's okay. We got this. You just wait. So, like, you know, just, like, cheering me up and stuff. But I told her that um, she brought me some uh, books to read over, like, uh, keep me busy. But I have a hard time because every time I start to read something, I can't even do anything without them bothering me. Like, and she was just like, are you on any medicine? I was like, no. I told her how I asked for help for three, it's been almost three months now. I asked for help from the host, but they won't help me. So we told her about it. Do you, do you think that they would be more likely to help you if somebody called down there, like, and complained, basically? <laughs> no, because the thing is, they don't want to be uh, involved because they don't want to go to court. So they just like basically just say, try to do the best you can and cope, you know, without us, you know? Yeah. But sometimes that's, sometimes it's more, it's easier said than done, you know, especially where you're at and all the circumstances going on with, you know, why you're there and all the people you've had to deal with. Like, I can't imagine how difficult that is on you. But I wish that they would take it as seriously as, you know, as I do, because I understand how important your mental health is. Yeah, I was taking the hydroxyzine, but they canceled it because the doctor was mad because I wouldn't talk to him one day because I had a visit with Harley. And he got mad. I was like, fine, I'll just cancel your medicine. I was like, what well, is my time out? And I have a visit. And so he just walked away. So I asked the mental health people, I said, can I, like, see someone besides him because of how he did me about my visit? And they were like, no. And I was like, well, but he didn't. Like, I literally was, like, walking from the phone to the video visit to get on the thing with Harley. And he got mad I didn't stop and, like, take the time to talk to him. Wow. So he was like, I'll just cancel everything and walked off. Oh, wow. That's, that's like, yeah. super not professional. <laughs> and then I, they tried to tell me that they could give me the hydroxyzine after the law library, but they're not going to come in here. 30 a.m. They're not going to bring it till they bring morning meds. So that means I'm just going to be taking morning meds at whatever time. You know what I mean? Yeah, and they, they probably can't. If I can't bring them to you and you can't wait to take them, they probably make you take them as soon as they bring them to you, don't they? Yeah, exactly. And then, like, so then only two days I would be taking it at that time. And then the other case, I'd be taking it. And it's at my discretion because I don't take it all the time because I don't need it all the time. But, like, I didn't even get to talk to him about the nightmare meds because to tell him how they were making my – it was making my sleepwalking worse and, like, shaking and jerking. I didn't even get to talk to him about anything. And then I was going to talk to him about, uh, you know, trying to get back on the meds I was on because I already signed uh, release forms for them to get that stuff from South Carolina for – all the mental health stuff and the different medicines they tried, like, I, I already did all that. And then the stuff from the school district, I signed a release form on all that uh, for where they gave me treatment and where I was, you know, out of it for all those days. And I signed all those flippers, so it's not like they don't have it so they could see what I was shaking and what I didn't like because it was zombies. But it's okay because I had the conversation with Justice, and he was like, don't worry about it when you get to the other side. You don't have to worry about it, you know. You don't need the medicine. So that's what I'm doing. When they put the rest of that chip in me, I'll probably be done. I don't know when they're coming back to put the chip in me. I'm hoping they wait a little bit before they come yeah. back to put the chip in me. But if you would just let her know in case they put it in me before she comes back, because she has a trial, and I know she won't be here for a little bit because she has a trial. Okay. But in case she well, knows that I'm gonna, I might be on the other side and gone and might not be alive, you know what I mean? Because they'll... I'll be alive, but I won't be here. You see what I'm saying? Like, I'll be yeah. on on a different planet. Like, I won't be on Earth. 
No, well, like hurt. Well, make sure you tell her that because I don't want. I'm not not hurt myself. It's not like that. You know what I mean? It's go. I'm going to another planet. What would be the uh, What would be the best way to word this to her? Because I'm gonna I'm gonna type it up because I have my computer right here. I'm gonna type it up and I'll text it to her here in a minute. Yeah, however you think. Just tell her what we talked about, and you know, and just and she comes to say, hey, I just was letting her know in advance that I'm probably gonna be leaving Earth as soon as um they put the rest of the chip in me and I'll have to go through like the whole process of them taking my body parts again. Cause I was initiated before, but then I came out of initiation, but then they made me join them again. You know what I mean? So now I have to reinitiate. Yeah. So I already gave them like a small intestine as like a sample. So they'll come back and I'll have to like give them all these body parts and then I'll be reinitiated again. And then I'll go through a certain phase of different stuff. And then if I pass, I'll be back in the group. Okay. Yeah. So just let her know. But hey, they're they're coming for the dinner. I don't eat the dinner, but I still have to go like a lockdown. Okay. But um, uh, I hope you can tell the girls hello. I hope they had a good Saturday and a good Sunday. And uh, hopefully, if I they take me to a new planet, I can probably send pictures. You know what I mean? Yeah. Oh, okay. awesome. Yeah. Make sure that wherever you go, that. You know, you can still you still have access to me and my phone yeah, I will, like, I will, because they got to get me out of this orange color. Like, let me be in like black or like, blue or something. You know? Oh, black would be awesome. I love black. Um, I know. Me too. We have a video chat tomorrow. Um, yeah, nice I'll be there tomorrow. Nice. Huh? Okay, cool. Okay. To make sure. All right. See you tomorrow. Just let All her right, know that in okay, case she comes. Okay. Bye bye. All right. Bye. bye. Why does Amy do that? You know, Tisha, oh, well, when I'm on Planet X tomorrow, or whatever, you know. And then Amy's like, just make, sure, <laughs> just make sure wherever you are, you have access to me. It's like, what? <laughs> oh, it just makes my head hurt, Jen. <laughs> well, um, I, I, I guess she wants Leticia to keep talking to her. And I, I, I don't know. I mean, it, it, I, I kind of get torn because there are a, a times when I actually think that Amy's concerned for her and that she wants that, you know, she's actually trying to help her, you know? Oh, I think um, so too. Yeah. You know, and I, I but I, what I, what I worry, what I hear also is, Tisha does is just using her. She wants Amy to tell everybody that she's crazy. You know, I mean, look, we've been the this planet Earth has been talking about UFOs for how long now? And one thing that I know uh, from just watching stuff is that the aliens don't like to be photographed. We've had a very hard time getting a picture of them. Do you know what I'm saying? Um, so wherever <laughs> Tisha's going, she's not going to be sending any damn ass pictures or anything like that. She's not going to go to another planet. That's ridiculous. Why would, what, what race of aliens, what species of aliens would pick, uh, um, you know, someone with Letitia's, uh, credentials as it were, her charges to, to, inf to, to populate a planet, you know, come on. Yeah. Yeah. Um, oh, good God. All the gene pool that exists on Earth and they pick that one? Shut up, Tisha. You're exactly right, Locomat. Letitia knows how the internet and social media works and was trying to use it for her benefit. Absolutely. Having people like Amy and the YouTuber pass Absolutely. along her message. Absolutely. Amy and the YouTuber are the bootleg Hogwarts owls. <laughs> <laughs> um. The aliens made in the image of Letitia. Oh, God. No. <laughs> I don't want to meet those aliens for sure. Um, okay. Well, we got two calls left, but they're pretty quick. Okay. Um, there are four minutes and five minutes. You want to go ahead and listen to them? Absolutely, babe. Back to back. Just all the uh, way if through. You want to. It's, you want to do it that way? No, it's up to you, babe. How we Well, yeah, let's, let, yeah, let's listen to them back to back. That way... We don't go over because what time do we need to be off the air? Seven, right? So 15, a yeah, little less than 15 minutes. Okay. Okay. All right. Let's go. All right. Okay.
Thank you for using Global Inc. Hi, stranger. Hey. Hey. Well, I didn't call you because I kept calling you. You never answered me. So I was like, well, she don't want to talk to me. I know because I was at work. Oh, and then the ninjas, they kept on telling me, like, she doesn't want to talk to you. She doesn't want to talk to you. I don't like you call them because they want me to be Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle. Mm. I know, and I was like, yes, she does want to talk to me. But they kept telling me you didn't. So I was like, well, I'll leave her alone then. But then they tried to tell me something today, and I was like, no, I'm calling her now. So I contained them. I put them in a little square and told them they can't move out of there. Okay. Yeah, I know. What have you been up to? Nothing. I've been working. I never got that uh, paperwork, so you're going to have to fill it out and mail it off. I never got it before the cutoff. Yeah, it must have not got there for thing then. Yeah, so you just um, have to fill it out. Okay. Just reprint it, fill it out. You can sign my name because you still have the power of attorney. So if you have any questions okay. about what to put, I can tell you. Okay. Yeah. Oh, gosh. We lost time. We keep losing time. Plus, there's like me. These, these girls are mean. They don't know how to love people, man. They be mean to each other. So we lose time all the time because everybody's mean to each other. Mm-hmm. I just sit around and eat Jolly Ranchers and get crazy. <laughs> I already ate two bags this week. Oh my gosh. I know. I know it's crazy. I'm going to cut my hair all off. Why? Well, the ninjas told me I needed to so that I could wear my headgear. What headgear? So it's going to be like a little band around my head because I'm being a ninja group. No, I, I, tell, tell the huh? I said that you're not cutting your hair off. Okay, I tell them. Well, okay. They have been crazy following me everywhere. I, they, they, they're they just crazy, you know what I'm saying? Like, they, I have to do karate with them, and I'd be in there, hi-ya, hi-ya, hi-ya. Like, three or four of them kicking at me at one time. But at least I'm getting good at karate, you know? Yeah. I'm going to give me a brown bill pretty soon. Mm-hmm. What's uh, Sadie doing? She is laying on my seat, snoring asleep. Oh, uh, there was two dogs outside. I named them. Uh, they left running earlier. And then I named the people at the softball field and the kids mm-hmm. in the soccer field. I named all them. Some of them are hard mm-hmm. to see that far. But some of them I could, you know, tell or whatever. But then I saw the ninjas were trying to go out there, and I was like, oh, no, uh-uh, you stay right here. And I was yelling at people, like, catch the ball, catch the ball, and they couldn't catch the ball. And I was like, oh, I need to help you guys. But they were like teenagers trying to catch the ball. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because there's, like, a softball food right here behind us, you know what I mean? You hear that? What was that? That was Sadie? What is she mad about? She's snoring. That's her snoring? Call can she yeah. breathe? Yeah. Don't let the ninjas get her either. No worries. Okay, well, we have to go. I have a free phone call tomorrow, but I, ha- I come out at 5 a.m., but I'll wait to call you. What time do you go to work? I go to. I have to be at work at 9, so I'll be up at like 8, 8, 30. Okay, so 6 o'clock my time I can call you? Which yeah. can call, or I'll wait to six thirty because you know. Okay. Okay. All right. Love you. Watch love out you. for the ninjas. Don't let them come in there. Okay. Okay. Love you. Love you. Bye. Hey, what's wrong? Nothing. Okay. Just I just make sure they didn't bother you because they just don't know. I'll do my karate on them. Love you. Bye. Love you. Bye. Okay, I just pause for a second, Jen, because this next call, there is something I want you to listen to, and it's when she talks about her biggest fear. Um, and then after this call, we can talk about uh, the ninjas and everything like that, if that's okay, okay? But just pay attention to this next one, because this had me shocked at the end, but uh, <laughs> it just, it was pretty infuriating. Okay. 
you might be off having your cigarette. So you can hear me though. All right, you guys, we will talk about the ninjas and everything after this call. Hi, beautiful. Hey, how's it going? Good. Don't work. On the way. Oh, I'm baby. the <laughs> baby. Hi. She mad you leaving? She's about to be. Oh, she was mad at me last time. night because she was mad at me last night because I didn't want her to sleep with me. But she has a bunch of dandruff right now. <laughs> so she was this. So I don't want her in my bed. Yeah, she was mad. Did she get over it? Yeah, and then she found the spot that was the closest to me on the floor. <laughs> oh. And went to sleep there. Well, she loves you. Yeah. Is it warm there today? Yeah, it's sunny. It's going to be 81, but it's going to be cloudy. Oh, so I really like 70 something. I hope my turkey bacon finishes before nine you know o'clock. Yeah, you know what? I have turkey. I have turkey bacon in the oven, and I don't know if it's gonna be ready before the time I get off. I mean, but before the time I go in. But don't forget to turn the oven off. I know. Ooh, Sadie's there. That's like my biggest fear. I'm like a fire starting here in Sadie's here. Yeah, that's why you got to always double check everything. That's how okay. it was. I mean, I'd hit the off button six times on the oven. Off, 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 off. Because, like, you know, fires are like my biggest fear because mom's house burnt down. I was cooking. I remember the fire at the farm. <laughs> I care about the fire. Fire? Yeah. Huh? Fire at the farm? Yeah, remember the, the woods? I set the woods on fire on accident. Oh, the neighborhood. Yeah. Yeah. You know, fire terrified me, so you gotta go hit the oven and be like, off, 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 off. <laughs> yeah. Well, I thought I'd call mm -hmm. you. It was my free call, right? Yeah. Oh, man. I look like you today. You do? With your hair straight? No. Dressed? Mm -hmm. <laughs> hey, she's so weird. She does this thing where, like, she'll just lay on the carpet, but she'll tuck her arms underneath her. So it looks like she doesn't have any arms. <laughs> I stayed up last <laughs> night listening to Kayla and I pretty much remembered, like, all the golf songs. <laughs> The new one. Good. I love, your, um, I love the little more like Jesus, a little less like me. I love that by that way. Um, does your thing still work? Do I need to pay for it? Yeah, no, I'll pay for it. Just keep it when we have to we have to cancel it before um the um, your fires. Yeah, I'm gonna go listen to Zach Williams one more time before I go inside. You know, shower and. Oh, that's what the ninjas are. You said I couldn't cut my hair, so I'm not doing it now. Right now, for now, anyway. And I wonder if you take over my mind again and put the chip back in there, you know. You have one minute remaining. Well, yeah. anyway. Tell them I won't be happy with them if they cut your hair. I know, I know. I try to, I try to keep it clean. That's just like they like. I stayed up to three and I got to five thirty. So. I had I stayed up so that way they wouldn't bother me all night. So hopefully I can go to sleep and they'll go to sleep. You know what I mean? Oh. All right. Well, love you so much. Love you too. All right. Bye-bye. Okay, bye. Bye. Thank you for using Global Telling. Okay. Whoa. Yeah, I know. And no mention of, 
Hmm, the fire that supposedly had. I don't know if that's true. I see a lot of people asking about her mom's house. I don't know. We'd have to do some research for that. Um, but, oh, and I just canceled that newspaper thing today. There's like a newspaper archive where you could go back. I found Tisha winning the science. I found all kinds of stuff. Winning the science fair in like fifth grade and a picture oh, wow. of her. Oh, wow. <laughs> but um, I wonder if it would be that if it actually happened. Probably so, right? A fire? I mean, I, I feel like, yeah, I feel like it would be something that was mentioned. Absolutely. So, okay. yeah, I think I yeah. think we should be able to find that. But yeah, so her biggest fear is a fire. That just pissed me off and disgusted me. And um, which Harley said at first, but. Yeah, but you'd think that Letitia would have mentioned, you know, the fire that, you know, and. That's what I, I thought. You know, you think she would, one of them would mention it, you know? I mean, like maybe not Harley so much, but probably I would think Letitia just for the fact that. Like to keep continuity for lack of a better word, I guess. Yeah, yeah. You know? I would think she would do at least something, something. like even uh, just a little thing. But, um, let's go back for a second and talk about these ninjas now. It's turned these ninjas, from ninjas are doing way too much. Can I just say that? <laughs> <laughs> now they're ninja. Now they want her to be a ninja turtle. And she said something about having to wear the hairband. <laughs> I thought I'm going to make a picture of Tisha with the ninja turtle oh, hairband. Oh my her. God. You have to. You have yes. to. Yes. <laughs> you have to. Um, so, but oh, yeah. I don't know. It, it ended on a heavy note, though, with that fire. But yeah, um, yeah the ninja. The ninja said you didn't want to talk. That right there was manipulating Harley. That pissed me off at the beginning of that call before this one. Hey, I guess Harley hadn't been answering. She was at work. Right. And Tisha said, the ninjas told me you didn't want to talk to me. <laughs> and you and Harley's already a little depressed when her mom acts like that. You can hear it in her voice. She's just like, oh, okay. Or, huh? Yeah. You know, right. like, so I just, I didn't like Herman using that, like, to manipulate Harley. Me, no, I didn't bad. either. She, and she does it all the damn time, you know? It's just, yeah. a, it's so gross what she does. It's just so gross. Yeah, it is. And when she makes the karate sounds, Kimberly said. <laughs> Bruh, that's too damn. <clears throat> now she's written, she's really doing too much then. Hey, Mia. Hey, Melissa. Well, I think Melissa's live is supposed to start right now. Okay. Okay. Let me just, oh, and let me just, let me double check because she might have moved it back like 15 minutes. And if she did, I'm going to show you something. But if not, I'll wait until next time. Okay. Let me just see here. Yeah, she moved it back. Okay, so okay. until 7.30. Okay. But um, so I looked in the file for times that karate was mentioned because I remembered it a couple of times. Right. And um, the first time is right here, but this was all the way in 2020 when she was first arrested, March 5th. Shift 4 says that um, she spent part of her day doing some sort of kicks and punches telling everyone in the ward she was a black belt in karate. <sighs> <laughs> of course she did because that's what you do that's what you do i mean you know a black belt in then, karate okay yeah then that was like her just like her like as soon as she got there because i forgot she had to be um transported so then um on august 31st of 2020 i like the way that this officer wrote this <laughs> appeared to be standing in her cell practicing what she called karate <laughs> right. I feel like Letitia's karate is like SpongeBob's karate. You know how he calls yeah. it karate? I feel like that's Letitia. <laughs> I'm learning karate. You know what I mean? <laughs> that's what I feel like. Yeah, I do too. I agree with you. Didn't she say brown to Harley? She did say she brown did. belt. She did. Yeah. Um, then yes, let me see. Brown belt. 
one more mention of it and let's just see where what it was oh god this was uh behaviors on august 30th um behaviors in the ward and they said stout Letitia was doing kicks and punches in her cell and said that she was a black belt in karate and she was sharpening her skills <laughs> sharpening refused <her> skills. <laughs> and refused to talk to mental health when they came in so. Letitia, honestly let me search Ninja, actually. Just Ooh, do it. Ninja. Search Ninja. Let's see what she's got to say about Let's see what happened there. <laughs> Maybe it's nothing. Sometimes it takes a second. Yeah. Oh, I don't think there is anything. Huh. Huh. Imagine that. Yeah. Ridiculousness. Absolute, total, and utter ridiculousness Letitia and just for literally no reason at all like, there's no there's no need for you to be you know scaring Harley like that come on man you know yeah just making him worry hero in a half shell turtle power <laughs> teenage mutant ninja turtles teenage mutant ninja turtles teenage mutant ninja turtles <laughs> heroes in a half shell turtle power uh huh. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> you know it has to come out. I appreciate everybody's patience with that because it's, you know, one of those things. <laughs> you know, Riddler. I'm starting to get a little offended out here with you talking about Alex. All caps. You are still number one in my heart. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Riddler! Thank you. you know, that, she <laughs> should be sweet. number one. Allie mm -hmm. is the best. She's the sweetest. Oh, Riddler, you're so sweet, and thank you so much for that. And I hope that you are doing okay, and I hope that Mom's okay, too. It's been a minute since I have heard from you guys, so I hope that you guys are all right down there, down there in the Floridas. Oh, we're spending. neighbors? Mm-hmm. That explains why I'm yeah. not number one. <laughs> <laughs> um. Yeah, that it, but Harley, you know, we can't like them. I think we could if we were on um, YouTube app, but like on StreamYard, we can't, but you guys yeah. can. On the YouTube app, Queen. I can like them. Right. Patricia said, Queen Age Mutant Ninja Turtle. <laughs> Patricia. Um, <laughs> yes, Melissa, Melissa, you can. Yeah, okay, I was about to read that to you. <laughs> Shut up, Tisha. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, we have, I have to work on finishing my next video so me and Bendy can get back to this, but I know we're going to do probably an open panel on her channel tomorrow night. And I have a lot of things to do, so I probably won't do anything on mine tomorrow. And then I'll have definitely be ready by then. And then I can help you finish May if you need help after that. All right, babe. Sounds like a plan. All this talk about Ninja makes me want to go watch Ninja Assassin. That's a good movie. I've never seen it. <clears throat> you have to. You have to watch it. Look it up. It's good. Mia said, I made you girls a shut up Tisha button. <laughs> <gasps> shut up Tisha. That would be awesome, people. I know I'm, a lot of people, Jen, want you to put out shut up Tisha shirts. Maybe uh -huh. one day you'll need to I have to. I have to. I just need to. Let me. Let me. Um figure out let me let me get something to do it let me let me you know let me let me design it let me get creative you know i have to tell you that yeah. being around negativity um sometimes will stifle my creativity so sometimes you know hearing the um like not so much Letitia's calls anymore they don't they get to me they still get to me but not like they used to um but the Adam's trial, um, just, you know, all of that was just really, and then, um, yeah. I, then I think of her name right now. Um, she just, it, it just happened. Her name starts with an A. Why can't I think of her name? It just happened. We were, you were just caught talking about it at the beginning of the Audrey. stream. Aud what is it? Audrey. 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 Audrey Cunningham. Um, that kind of stuff. 
like weighs on me, you know, and sometimes it makes it makes it hard for me to be creative, but I'm learning better. So let me, um, let me like decompress just a little bit and I will, uh, absolutely, um, work on a shut up Tisha t-shirt for you guys. Absolutely. 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 And then Music City Mom, thank you so much for the uh, super chat. I appreciate that so much. And you just know I love you to pieces. Thank you, Adrian. So, Bendy, um, before yes, we ma'am. go, anything that we need to touch on? I know your documentary is ready to go. That'll it be is. soon. Saturday. I'm doing it Saturday. Okay. Saturday. And then, <clears throat> yeah, today Audrey's cause of death was revealed. What was it? I missed Which- it. I didn't get to see it. Um, blunt force trauma to the head. Yeah. <sighs> so sad. Um, sad, really sad. But you guys, um, my computer is yeah, again, I my charge. Yeah, and um, which I have a plug in right next to me, but I just don't have the cord with me. So, um, but so I'm gonna jump off here. Thank you all of you guys for coming and hanging out with us and listening to these calls. Um Tomorrow night is the open panel, but the next night we will be getting back to it. And after this, Melissa Jade has a live. um, And I hope that you guys will join us over there. I'm going to drop the link again. And then after that, Amber has a live at 940. I forgot one thing that I did want to say. So if I'm going to host the open panel, if you guys, if if you want to come up on the panel or um, well, not so much if you want to come up on the panel, but if you do want to come up at the, on the panel and you have a suggestion for some part of the trial that you want to talk about, if you will do me a big, huge favor and email me, my email is in my about section. It's um, blindjusticepodcast at gmail.com. Um, that way I can get all of the timestamps together from the trial, you know, the various days and everything like that. So it can be like super, you know, easy for you guys. So we can, you know, just talk about what you, cause Allie and I really, really want to hear what you guys have to say, how you felt, what you were thinking. Um, so, and if you have something from the trial that you want to talk about, if you'll just email me, um, that would be super helpful to me and give me the timestamp. I will make a community post. So Allie's computer doesn't, you know, kick it right now. I'll make a post and put my email there. So if you find it at the Ward Case Studies. Yes, Tess, it's tomorrow. And then you guys, Lokoma, that's another channel. Oh, I was about to drop her channel on the link and I just wrote her name. She covers lots. She just had Sleuth. She has Sleuth Mom on all the time. But she covers lots of cases that are not being talked about at all. Um, and, and she is very consistent with it. And she also talks about some that are. Like she was talking about Audrey's and stuff. Mm-hmm. So I'm going to drop her link in there too. So I watch your like channel, that. Loka My Life. I'm subscribed. <laughs> I just hardly ever chat. I'm just quiet sometimes when I go other places to chat. Because, you know. I know too. People can be. But I like to listen yeah. and I like to watch. But you do a really, really great job, Look of My Life. I wanted to let you know that. You have a really great channel. You do a lot Absolutely. for the listening. Okay. Um, you are so welcome. And, yeah, you guys go check it out, please. And then um, – Lisa said, I've listened to these calls over and over. Why doesn't anyone ever call her out? That's, I know, we don't know. It's we unbelievable. Don't know. Maybe they will. But if I don't end this, it might die before I have a chance. And then yeah, it's yeah, going to yeah. be really hurt because I don't have my phone out here either. <laughs> so um, I'm going to let you guys go. Thank you for everything. I just appreciate you guys so much. Jen, I appreciate you so much. Mods, everybody. And you guys have a great night. And I'll see you over at Melissa's and Amber's later. And yeah. That's Thank all. you, babe. So, love you. Appreciate Bye. you too. Bye.